Yo guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and I'm going to show you how you can play Warcraft Rumble on your PC, laptop, whatever computer device you have. I personally like it better than on the phone, so let's get right into it. First, you're going to need an emulator. I use BlueStacks 5. There is BlueStacks 10 out, but BlueStacks 10 is for computers that don't really have great specs. We're playing a phone game, in my opinion. <laughs> If your computer is struggling to play a phone game, we need to focus on other things and not how to play Warcraft Rumble on a really bad computer. So Bluestacks 5 is what most of you are going to use. Once you have Bluestacks 5, it's going to look like this. From there, you're going to open up the Google Play Store. You're going to sign in to whatever your Google Play account is. I personally didn't know this program before this, so I just made a completely new Google account specifically for Bluestacks and specifically for Warcraft Rumble because, again, I didn't want to like link my main stuff to this program I had never used before. It's safe, but at the time, I didn't know. Once you get in, you're just going to go type in Warcraft Rumble. At the time, it was called Arclight. Uh, and then you're just going to download the game like normal. Once the game's installed, it should show up on your home screen here exactly what you can see on my screen i'll open and load the game here in a second so you can see it working obviously if i post videos of me playing it it works all right so let's go into settings what settings i have and what why it runs so good on my stuff for performance i have all four cores being used more cpu more power more rumble memory allocation i recently jumped from 32 to 64 i, I edit a lot i play a lot of games i stream i do it all at the same time my computer hates me but just shove more ram down its face 32 gigs for this bad boy specific. <laughs> I gave this 12 gigs to the face. If you don't have that, that's okay too. But 12 gigs to the face is what Rumble gets. Performance mode, I put it on high performance. I, you should probably put it on balance. Most computers need a healthy balance of not dying. I prefer the dying. So high performance it is. Frame rate, 60 is normal. 240 for my bad boy. <laughs> Honestly, just put yourself at 60 unless you have like a computer that costs like $1,500 or more. I have enable a uh, high frame rate on again if you're at 60 you can uncheck this i don't think you need it but you can click it on if you want anyway this game shouldn't give you screen tearing i hate vsync i dip, turn it off for every game i play but if you're having if it looks like really laggy or tearing or anything just try turning vsync on if you don't notice the difference on or off leave it off going to display i have portrait at 1080 and 1090 all right moving to the next option display i have it on portrait mode on 1080 and then 1920 there are a lot of different settings on which how you like to play a lot of other streamers have i think it's like 1920 by 1920 or something like that and it basically is like a wide screen over the top so you can see a lot more what's going on the map i personally liked in the zoom like a zoom in view just because i like being very precise about where i put my minis but if you want a wide screen 10 19 i think it i'm pretty sure it's 1920 by 1920 you would just go into the custom uh tab instead of going into portrait and it's pretty sick uh for pixel density i have it at 320 i was originally i think at 240 again i just turned it up i, I my computer needs to work for graphics for the render do not use direct x or vulcan this game doesn't need it it shouldn't even load or even work on those open gl is what you want auto and software decoding uh gpu in use i have a preferred dedicated gpu you want to make sure it's not using if you have an internal graphics card to use the good graphics card in your computer uh you also can set that up in i believe like nvidia manager or something for devices it's just where you want the like microphone speakers not like important you can figure it out under advanced everything is turned off i don't even know what any of this means don't worry about it all right, from there, we're loading up the game here so you can obviously see it working. So for me, I had no issues downloading it and getting it to play the first time. I didn't have to change any settings. There was no BIOS changes. However, depending on your computer, what graphics card you have, what memory you have, what motherboard you have, what CPU you have, there are some errors that it's going to possibly give you. Let's hope not, but there are that will ask you to change some settings in the BIOS. I think it has something to do with like visual memory or something like that. There are guides on that. This is not a guide for that. You just type whatever error you're having or whatever it tells you to change, just type in how to change it. Look at it. It's really easy. It took a lot of people like less than two or three minutes to figure out in the BIOS. It's just a couple settings. My particular guide is not for that. However, there whatever error you're hitting, if you happen to hit one, just type it into Google. There should be an exact fix on like what it's asking you to do and somebody like a tutorial is already doing it. Also to note, every person that in my chat said that they had an error for the game, like they were easily able to figure it out. Wasn't a big deal. If you're semi-confident in computers, it should be really easy. If you are computer illiterate and bio sounds scary and just changing normal settings to allow programs to work correctly is 
out of the spectrum, that's okay too. You can always just play this from your phone. But again, a very small percentage of people had to do more than just download the program. This is like, you know, 1% of less than 1% of people will have to do anything more than just download BlueStacks. All right, so we're in the game looks fine, feels fine. I enjoy playing it on a computer. Also a couple quick fixes if you are having trouble, right click run as administrator on BlueStacks or on like just Rumble from your desktop. I heard that allows people to play it too. Another thing is BlueStacks, can you do this? Is it going to get your account banned? Can Are you allowed to use BlueStacks to play it on a computer? Yes, it's, it's not against the rules at all from what I understand. I just literally just got back from BlizzCon. I was talking to the devs and I told like I was telling them I was playing it on my computer and using BlueStacks and why didn't they design it to go on the Battle.net launcher and you just launch it from Battle.net like every other Blizzard game. They couldn't really give me an answer on that one, but BlueStacks seems to be fine. They didn't raise an eyebrow to it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. That's what it's there for if somebody else can help somebody else out or if i can help you out if something's not working right or something doesn't add up or i didn't clarify something that's what it's there for ask away with that enjoy playing warcraft rumble on the pc in my opinion the superior way to play the game as always thanks again for watching catch you in the next video i'm robert warshak happy whatever the hell day it is